Hello you all and welcome to my next video. This one is going to be X-Men Realness because I did Kurt Wagner aka Nightcrawler and if you want to see how I got this look done and how to recreate the look, stay tuned. Alright, let's start. I already did half of my face with a white guidelines and of course a latex and I will start now on the other side of my face and first of all I'm gonna show you again how to um, build up um, this bridge on um, the fake ear because I, <laughs> I was too fast and I glued the ear first i wanted to show you the, f the complete step but anyway it's obvious what i do and in case you want to see a closer look on this method i can link you the video of my christmas elf where i did those ears as well and uh, where you get a closer look and an idea how to do it and you just take tissue for that which i torn apart at first and put that right on the edge which is obvious when you just glue the ear on your ear <laughs> and then you go all over it with liquid latex this one dries clear and the q-tip as well and try to just uh, roll the q-tip all over the latex to avoid the uh, tissue wrinkling so I just took one layer of latex, you can also took more layers, but I thought one would be enough and then I just built up the latex over and over. I think I did three or four layers in total to just hide the edge. And then you take, um, as always, a blow dryer to not play the waiting game too long. Then I take a plain white eyeliner pencil, this one is a drugstore one, a cheap one and just draw out my guidelines all over my face again, or all over the half actually and um, yeah, the key here is to just keep the symmetry and the white eyeliner pencil uh, allows you to make mistakes so in case you do mistakes like I did several times you can just uh, wipe it off and uh, start over. So just make sure you keep the tip of your pencil as sharp as possible to not get those guidelines too thick and then you just sketch out all over your face with the pencil and that's the key. Next I'm gonna do the most time consuming part of this makeup and this is the latex application and I take a very sharp and thin tipped spatula for that and also some liquid latex which dries clear and I'll always make sure to dab off the excess to just not destroy all your lines and all your face actually. And now you wanna go all over your guidelines and trace them out with the latex basically and you're gonna do that all over your face of course <laughs> and um, I think um, six to seven layers of the latex will do the job very good so six to seven layers will do the job very well you get a very cool effect with that um, a very cool 3d effect which uh, the scars of the nightcrawler obviously have and 
I later took a brush for uh, the latex application which worked way easier. I would never would recommend a brush when it comes to latex but uh, the brush did the job way better I have to admit because yeah, the latex obviously uh, stays amongst the bristles and uh, so you can just go all over your scars and uh, in a dabbing motion ever so gently you can just build up those scars way easier and way faster so if you want to save some time just do the brush uh, from the very beginning and then it should work best As far as you're ready with the latex application, the first latex application, you take some talcum powder, just save a little money and don't do translucent makeup powder and a brush of your choice and then you go all over the, the first layer of latex and ever so gently dab it on and powder up the latex because it loves to stick to itself so make sure to play the safe game and then you layer on and on and on every layer of latex uh, needs a layer of powder obviously so here you can see again um, how the scars look um, in case you did several layers of the latex obviously and this is the final latex application this is the finished latex application actually and um, now I go all over again with some powder and do a decent powder up to just avoid the latex sticking and to make sure you can do the makeup without any stickiness of latex Then I took a plain eyeshadow base by Revital Loop, it's a drugstore one, very cheap, and just um, <laughs> based my eyes with it, or my eyelids actually, because they tend to crease um, and they tend to be oily and I want to avoid that because I don't want to um, have my colors creasing, so I just go all over it with an eyeshadow base and play the safe game here as well as on the complete makeup look. Then I take a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and add depth to my eyes with the black obviously. Um, I go all over my eyelid and all around my eyes actually and I did also the lower and upper lash line to get yeah the deepest kind of depth you can possibly get here and then I took a fluffy brush and just smoothed it out all over my eyes. I also took a black plain eyeshadow and spread it all over in the lid to anti-shine the NYX Jumbo Pencil because it tends a little bit to look shiny, glossy and I want to avoid that so I keep it matte with an eyeshadow and next I take the Manhattan No Ends Intense Mascara you can take the mascara of your choice doesn't have to be um, an expensive one and just paint my eyebrows black and that looks kind of harsh but it comes together at the end so don't worry about it and just go all over your brows do a decent application to make sure everything turns black and now I take two grimace creams I'm gonna mention the numbers in the info box um, uh, the blue one is the more dark one and I just mix those two together to get this dark blue base color and I take um, an acrylic brush here and first of all I marked all the scars with the blue I just yeah kind of pre-painted all the scars to avoid touching them all over and over with a sponge later and this is basically what you have to do for the color application so just go over your scars with a brush first and then go all, all over again with a sponge. I did a sponge at the end or actually two sponges 
and yeah, did the color application, which is time consuming as well, especially when you don't have an airbrush. So, in case you are the lucky one and have an airbrush here, just take an airbrush, it makes a way easier application and makes the application more even as well. So, you can save a huge amount of time if you, in case you have an airbrush. I don't have an airbrush, unfortunately, but I will get one hopefully soon. So, yeah, just make it as easy as you can and if you have an airbrush do an airbrush this one is grease paint you can also take water-based makeup but I think water-based makeup is not as long-lasting so yeah that's basically what I can tell you about this so those grimace colors have a quite a thick texture so make sure you dab them on ever so gently and uh, make a decent application. I use the sponge for it to just keep the coverage as thick as possible. <laughs> um, and the next and last step is um, I took a Kiko eyeshadow. This one is number 6165 and a powder brush and went all over the foundation the blue foundation with this eyeshadow and first of all I was a little bit scared about it because it's very shimmery as you can see but in the end I decided to keep it because it makes quite a cool effect a cool um, metallic effect which I very much like about this look the actual nightcrawler is a little bit darker a little bit more yeah dark blue with a mix of black so yeah it's it depends on your taste and it depends on how close you like to get to the actual or the original but um, I consider this look very very well done and that's basically it obviously um, it does a lot to do this application of the makeup or yeah basically of the eyeshadow and the look is done almost I just spray painted my hair black and also worked over the years and this is the look for you and if you like the look just leave me feedback in the comment section below of course get me a thumb up and make me happy with that and if you want to meet me otherwise just uh, leave me a message on my facebook which is facebook.com slash anthony cook and also have a look on at my instagram if you like and Last but not least, I'm on Twitter as well as Anthony Cook MUA. So every opportunity is here to get in touch with me. So see you next time. Bye bye.